Hey everybody, I'm Brian with RomanCup.com and thank you guys as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by RomanCup.com. In today's exclusive video, I have a side-by-side -side comparison of a couple uh, coffee machines that we've talked about in the past and we thought, why not show them side-by-side? -side? I have the Nespresso Pixie uh, that's a single-serve espresso machine that we've talked about in many different ways in the past. And then I have the Starbucks Verismo 580 single-serve coffee uh, and espresso machine. I'm just going to show you a little comparison between uh, both of them, brew some drinks, and we'll just talk about the differences between the two. So let's dive right in and get started. All right, so we won't delve in too deeply into all of the, the major uh, differences between the two of these. We'll just tell you first off that the big difference between the two, putting aside things like size and, and things like that, really comes down to the fact that the Verismo 580 can brew regular coffee and espresso and has the option to do cafe lattes, milk-based drinks, uh, all using the one machine, whereas the Nespresso Pixie is just an, an espresso machine. So it doesn't have milk pods and it doesn't do regular coffee. It's just for making espresso. So if you want to be able to add milk, uh, make froth milk drinks, things like that, using the Nespresso Pixie, you're going to need some kind of milk frothing device. We've talked about a lot of those in the past here on aromacup.com. So just a quick overview of some of the differences between the two. Obviously size uh, of both of these very different. The Verismo 580, a little bigger, going to take up a little more space on your countertop. The Pixie lives up to its name of Pixie because it's very, very small. It's one of the things I really like about it is uh, it's just going to take up so little space on your countertop, which is very cool. The tray on both of these is adjustable. On the Pixie, you just fold the tray up in order to put a larger cup underneath it. And on the Verismo, you need to just pull out your tray and then uh, interchange the metal tray onto the bottom half of the tray uh, assembly on the machine. Now, both of these have, uh, speaking of the trays, they both have collection uh, pods for collecting your used pods uh, on the machine. And this way, when you are done brewing, you're going to drop those pods into these collection pods uh, on both of the machines. So that's pretty cool because you don't need to worry about immediate cleanup. You can just drop those pods in as you make uh, espresso or coffee, depending on which machine you're going to be using. Um, when it comes down to the pressure pump on both of these, which is something that folks are going to wonder about, there's a 19 bar pressure pump in both of them. So that's higher than the average standard for a pressure pump in, espresso, in an espresso machine. And I've seen both of these do pretty good pulls of espresso. We'll show that to you in just a few moments. Brewing on both of them is pretty straightforward. They both have these lever sort of uh, operations for being able to load pods into the machine. You notice that on each one I just simply pull the lever up or down and that gets the machine ready for brewing. Now with respect to actually brewing the operation, the 580 has a, little, a few more buttons, but that's because it can do a wider uh, array of drinks, whereas over here on the Pixie, there's just two buttons. They're on the top of the machine, and that's for doing a single shot and a lungo shot of espresso. So pretty straightforward. Water tank on both of these is fairly small. Neither of them have water filters built into the water tank, so you're probably going to be filling that tank up fairly frequently if you're doing a lot of drinks. But again, they're both smaller machines meant to take up less space on your countertop. Those are pretty much the differences between the machines when it comes to size, operation, things like that. Let's talk about pods real quick. Now, Nespresso pods come in a number of different uh, uh, varieties. These are called Grand Cru. The Grand Cru pods uh, are all going to have different flavor profiles, and they obviously are going to look very different from the uh, Starbucks pods. These are called Kefi pods, obviously very different when it comes to size. And when it comes to the type of coffee inside each of them, the Kefi pods, the espresso pods, a little bit more limited, don't have that wide range of uh, coffee types that you can choose from with the Nespresso pods. But again, the Nespresso only does espresso, whereas the uh, Verismo 580 can do regular coffee and espresso. So let's go ahead and just brew some espresso with each of these machines and just show you the difference between each one. Now each one will do just a regular single shot of espresso, so I'm going to go ahead and just run that on both of these. Um, now, as I say, the pods are different for the Nespresso machine, wherein some of the pod types, the boxes that they come in, they will be specifically labeled as Lungo. So these blue pods that I have right here, uh, these ones are for Lungo, and I'll show you how that works a little bit later. Right now, I'm just going to use a regular single shot pod. I'm going to drop that into the Pixie, and now I'm just going to close up 
the brew station. It closes up really easily. You don't need to like force it down, which I think is pretty cool. Over here on the Verismo 580, it's sometimes a little bit more pressure in order to close that pod uh, brewer down onto the pod. You need to put that pod in and then press, and you'll feel it click down on top of that pod, and that punctures it and get it, gets it ready for brewing. Okay, so both of the machines are ready to brew now. Let's grab just some regular espresso shot glasses right here. Both of them fit very easily without having to adjust the trays, which is nice. And uh, now over here on the... Uh, on the Verismo 580, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to press the, uh, the single shot button, the espresso button on the machine. And then I'm going to do the same over here on the Pixie. Now, both of these, what I've noticed is that because they have those 19-bar uh, pressure pumps, they definitely do get a nice pull of espresso. I mean, you can see that you're getting a good crema going on and some nice layering on both of these, which is really important when it comes to espresso. Uh, now, it is worth noting that there's a lot more coffee coming out of a single shot on the Pixie. Now, the reason for that, because you guys are probably going to be saying, well, that looks more like a double, and that's true, that is. You can program the Nespresso Pixie in order to cause it to do a longer shot of coffee. Uh, so even on the single shot, which I press the single shot button, you can program the machine to allow more water into your shot of espresso. Whereas over here on the Verismo 580, you can't program the machine to do that. If you want to do a double shot of coffee, you need to basically just press that single shot button once more, once more and that will do uh, a double shot of coffee. So that's something that's worth mentioning. There's a little more programmability on the Nespresso Pixie over the Verismo 580. Okay, so let's uh, just go ahead now and show you the difference, the major difference between the two machines, and that's because the Verismo 580 can use milk pods, whereas the Nespresso does not. Cleanup is easy on both of them. Just open up those levers, and you're going to drop the spent pod down and into the pod container that's underneath the machine right there. Uh, now, we'll go ahead and do a Lungo uh, Nespresso pod on the Pixie over here. So I've got this blue pod, which, like I say, is specifically made for Lungo. I'm going to drop that in. I'm going to close up the brew lever, and now I'm going to drop a uh, larger uh, espresso shot glass underneath the brew station right there. Over here on the Verismo 580, we're going to make use of a milk pod. So this is a milk KFE pod. It's a 2% milk fat uh, powdered milk inside of this. And what we're just going to do is we're going to start by removing that tray so that we can put a larger mug underneath the Verismo. We'll place our Bowdoin mug right there. Now I'm going to take my milk pot and drop it into the machine, close it up, and now I'm going to make milk using the Verismo 580. There's a button right here which specifically is meant for milk, and I'm just going to press that, and this is going to actually uh, take that milk from powdered form to actual milk. Now over here on the Pixie, I'm going to go ahead and press my Lungo shot, my double shot button on the top of the machine. So the brew time on both of these is pretty quick. You know, each machine definitely moves at a good clip in order to get you the beverage that it is that you want to make with the machine. Um, now, if I were going to be doing uh, a regular cafe latte as Starbucks suggests that I do it, on uh, the Verismo 580, then I would, uh, in this case, I would want to now make use of an espresso pod, again, just as I did earlier here in this video, and I would brew that espresso directly into uh, my milk, which I've just brewed. But I'm going to go ahead and do this old school style. I'm just going to take my shot of espresso, I'm just going to pour that macchiato style right into my brewed milk. So there's a cafe latte, and again, I could have done that. Uh, by making use of an espresso pod again out of the re of the uh, Verismo 580. Over here on an espresso, I've got my double shot, my Lungo shot. All right, so let's talk about the final major difference between the two machines, and that again is that the Verismo 580 can make regular brewed coffee, whereas the Nespresso Pixie, if you want to make essentially regular brewed coffee, you need to make an Americano. You need to basically brew some espresso and then add hot water to add hot water to it. Now you can do that using the Nespresso Pixie. You can just simply run hot water into, into your beverage, and that's pretty easy to do. But let's show you how we can make coffee using the uh, Verismo 580. Uh, so I'm just going to, again, put a mug underneath the brew spigot right here. 
open up my filter, drop my spent pod, and now I'm gonna take a house blend KFE pod. Now these are different from any other pods that we've encountered because on the bottom of them they have these foil seals. You need to take that foil seal off before you start brewing using this machine. Now, take that pod, of course, drop it into the machine, close the brew lever down on it, and now you can choose the brew button, which is the one in the middle here on the face of the machine. Now, the Verismo 580 will adjust the pressure and the temperature uh, based on the type of drink that you are making, whereas the Nespresso Pixie is not going to do that. It very simply is going to make espresso. So again, it's pretty straightforward with the Pixie. If you want espresso and just espresso, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Nespresso Pixie. Now over here on the Verismo 580, again, the cool thing is that this is a single serve machine. It's made to just allow quick and easy access to different coffee beverages. And this is one of the first machines that I've seen that allows you to do regular brewed coffee and espresso based drinks all using the one machine. And of course, Starbucks took it one step uh, further and they gave you the ability to make use of those KFE milk pods. Now again, not a whole lot of programmability between these two machines. If you do want to adjust the strength of your coffee over here on the Verismo 580, you can just press the brew button again in order to stop the brew cycle. So if you like to maybe not have as large a cup of coffee, you like it a little stronger, you can stop the brew process in the middle of that. Now you can also do that on the Nespresso Pixie. Uh, you can simply just press the button to stop the brew cycle and that'll stop the machine from making a shot of espresso. And again, you can change how much espresso you're going to make by holding that button down and you can reprogram how much water is going to come out of the machine. So there's a cup of coffee directly out of the Verismo 580. So we have a cup of coffee and we have a cafe latte. And of course, we made use of our espresso shot to make that cafe latte, but you could just simply make a shot of espresso and drink that. Whereas over here on the Nespresso Pixie, We've got, uh, in this case, our reprogrammed single shot coming out of the machine. We have our double shot of espresso out of the Pixie. Again, both of them really offering a nice pull of espresso. You get that crema, you get that layering, and very good coffee quality. But a very big difference between the pods that you have available to you for the Nespresso machine and the pods that you have available, of course, for the Verismo machine. So, just to recap, guys, not a whole lot of major difference here, except for the fact that the Verismo 580 has the ability to make brewed coffee and espresso drinks. And of course, the Nespresso Pixie, it's just an espresso machine, and it does that very, very well. But it's only going to do espresso. If you want to make a regular cup of coffee, you're going to need to make an Americano by making use of the Nespresso Pixie. And if you want to find out how to do that, check out some of our other videos here on aromacup.com to find out how you can do a number of other recipes using the Nespresso Pixie. So there you go. That's a quick overview and comparison between these two machines. Definitely two of the big players in the world of at-home single-serve espresso. So I hope that you guys have found it useful. As always, please remember to join us on aromacup.com where you can find more inf informative videos just like this one. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. And as always, enjoy your cup. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, I'm Brian with RomaCup.com and thank you guys as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by RomaCup.com. In today's exclusive video, I have a side-by-side -side comparison of a couple uh, coffee machines that we've talked about in the past and we thought, why not show them side-by-side? -side? I have the Nespresso Pixie, uh, that's a single-serve espresso machine that we've talked about in many different ways in the past. And then I have the Starbucks Verismo 580 single serve coffee uh, and espresso machine. I'm just going to show you a little comparison between uh, both of them, brew some drinks, and we'll just talk about the differences between the two. So let's dive right in and get started. All right, so we won't delve in too deeply.